and welcome to the video course for Microsoft Office Word 2016. My name is Patrick Lohner and I'll be your instructor on this course. We're going to start with a little bit about my background. I've been in the uh, IT industry actually for about 18 years, uh, working as a network administrator and a Microsoft certified trainer. And of course along the way I've uh, uh, done my fair share of applications training as well and I've also used the office programs personally every version uh, since I think office 97 uh, was the first version that I uh, was involved with I heavily use uh, of course Outlook Excel PowerPoint Word uh, you know all of those very well versed in the differences the older versions to the new the compatibility issues from an IT perspective but also just using them from an application perspective so I'm excited to be able to go through these courses and share this information with you and get you uh, ready to use the latest version of Microsoft Office In the first topic, we will just be looking at integrating your pictures and text and the different ways that we can edit it. Because once you've resized an image and changed its appearance, you might want to change the way that it flows with the text on the page. That's what we'll be discussing in this topic. When you add an image to a Word document, you are going to have quite a bit of control over the image size and shape. Uh, this will be done through Word's resizing and cropping options. It's the first option there on the left that we see, resizing the image. You can just re change the image's scale compared to the text. You can stretch its height or width if you want, although that would give it different proportions. So usually we will use the corners to, to drag. Because if we use the corners to drag, then everything is done to scale. The aspect ratio is maintained. If you grab the top or the sides, then you're actually changing that aspect ratio and it can distort the image. Of course, we can crop the image okay, as, a, as a rectangle. So if you choose that you want to crop, then you can drag the cropping handles on the top, the left, the bottom, the corners. You know, and, and you'll have that option. Or you can crop it to a particular shape. And so that'll be used to mask part of the image that extend outside of that shape. So you have a few different options that are available to you. Something else we need to discuss is called wrapping or text wrapping. That's just used to arrange the images and the text in documents. And quite honestly, if you've ever added an image into Word, then you've probably dealt with this because the images by default are added in line with the text and their position is relative to the text but you may not want that to be the case we may want it to be inserted as just a, a floating image i may want it to be to the right or to the left floating images are positioned relative to the page and then the text would actually float around the image in line make sure that the text that refers to the image stays actually with the image but you're going to find all of these options in the arrange group on the picture tools format tab and it will be able to view the more layout options which is where this dialog box comes from here's an example of some of the layout options that you have so in line with text is the default with text wrapping we've got tight around the image square through where it wraps text very closely around an irregularly shaped image Okay, the text can flow inside the image's transparent space around what are called wrap points. We would, with that option, have the ability to edit those wrap points. Uh, then we have top and bottom, which is really just inline, but it's a, a line that's separate from text lines. In front of the text, it's displayed over. Behind the text, it's the text is actually displayed over the image. So most of them are pretty self-explanatory. But sometimes you just need to add an image and go into the layout options and play around with these to see the, uh, the primary differences. So by default, images are going to be positioned in line with text, but you can also position them with text wrapping so that the image shows up on the side or the corner. 
And, and so this is the, the gallery of positioning options. Again, we're on the picture tools, format tab, the position, and then you just have those different options. If you choose more layout options, then you'll get a separate layout dialog box. The separate layout dialog box gives you a position, text wrapping, size. So with position, you've got it broken up into horizontal and vertical. And these are probably pretty self-explanatory. Horizontal alignment is left to the center, right, relative to the margin. The column, the page, the book layout, positions an image inside or outside the margin of a page. Absolute just says, okay, this is X number of inches to the right of the margin or the column relative position would be a percentage. And really the same thing then goes for the vertical positioning. Okay. And then there are other options. You want to move the object with the text. Is the object going to be allowed to overlap it? Are you going to anchor it? So that's positioning the object in a specific location. You know, those kinds of things, all right? In addition to that, there are alignment guides that you can use. So you can align the image to a top of a, a paragraph. If you want, there are also times where you might want to rotate images, and so you can use the rotate handle on the image. And sometimes we just skew it just slightly, right? So it's just kind of somewhat diagonal because that just makes it stand out a little bit. So there are going to be a number of different options that we have, and it's important for us to understand those options. And I kind of went ahead and talked about the layout positions, but here we see them on the, the slide. So horizontal and vertical layout positions available to you in the layout dialog box, along with additional options.